Hi guys, some of you may have experienced painful and stiff shoulder joint. This condition may be caused by frozen shoulder. I'm sure many of you are very familiar with the term frozen shoulder. In this video, I'm going to explain what frozen shoulder is and what you can do yourself to improve your situation. My name is Dr. Tony Setiobudi, an orthopedic and a spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. The main characteristics of frozen shoulder is pain and stiffness. In the initial stage of frozen shoulder, the pain and stiffness develop gradually, get worse, and finally go away. The process from the start to the end of the recovery may take one or two years, but majority will eventually get better. You just need to be patient if you have frozen shoulder. This is the model of our shoulder. It is a ball and socket joint. The ball and the socket is held together by a capsule. In frozen shoulder, the capsule becomes inflamed, thick, tight, and stiff, making the shoulder joint very difficult to move. Depending on the severity, some people with frozen shoulder have difficulty wearing clothes, washing the hair, and washing the face. The initial stage is called freezing. In this stage, the shoulder gradually becomes more and more painful and more and more stiff until it reaches the second stage called frozen. In frozen stage, the shoulder is stiff to the max, but the pain is not too bad. Then the last stage is recovery stage called thawing. The stiffness gradually improves back to normal. Again, the process from the beginning to the end may take one or two years. What is the cause of frozen shoulder? In majority of the cases of frozen shoulder, the cause is not very clear. It usually affects women more than men and commonly occurs between the age of 40 and 60. People who have stroke, not moving the arm, and those who have breast surgery mastectomy are more prone to develop frozen shoulder. This condition can be diagnosed very easily by physical examination. But your doctor may order an X-ray or an MRI scan to rule out other problems. If you have frozen shoulder, you can do stretching exercises to speed up your recovery. Here are the stretching exercises that you can do yourself at home if you have frozen shoulder. Sometimes, if the shoulder is very painful, the doctor may give you a steroid injection into the shoulder joint to ease off the pain so that you can do stretching exercise more effectively. In the case of a very stubborn frozen shoulder that does not get better with stretching exercise or injection, you may need a small arthroscopic surgery using small incision and camera to open up the capsule. This procedure is done under general anesthesia. This can speed up the recovery in the case of very stubborn frozen shoulder. I hope this information is useful to all of you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video to your friends. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.